the quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. And Nona, Burr, I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the Phantom's moon location, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there is a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth, sixth place in this star system to which the Phantom moon travels. You have keen eyes, my friend, so this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. Well, five with the Dark Bramble, but then uh, we found that we have another, a sixth one. Uh, okay, this is very interesting. So where is the moon? The moon is there, apparently. What is that? Okay. It is orbiting Dark Bramble now, you can see it there. It is orbiting Giants Deep. It is orbiting uh, Brittle Hollow. It's next to the Volcanic Moon. And it's back on Giants Deep, but we cannot see it. Now it's uh, Dark Bramble. Now it's uh, orbiting Dark Bramble. Very, very interesting. Oh, I thought I was gonna going to mash my face against the rock. Fortunately, it was not the case. Uh, wait a moment. Oh yeah, that's the ice shrine. Uh, isn't he near the, like, I am trying to find the, well, actually, you know, I'm dumb. I could have done this. Yeah. He's just playing his instrument so that we can find him. That is so dumb from me. Uh, 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 uh. Unidentified signal nearby. Chert! We found Chert! Hmm? Oh, it's you! I take it your first launch went well then? Welcome to the Hourglass Twins! Uh, mind the sand now. What are you up to? Hornfels noticed our star charts are out to date, so I came he out here to update them. But something seems... Uh, how to put this off? I've seen... what? 10 supernovae by now? 12? They are in the double digits now, and that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. Why are so many stars going supernovae? I have no idea. Massive stars go supernova when they reach the end of their life lifespans. It's, so it's possible that the stars are, are older than we realized. Or maybe our models are wrong and they don't live as long as we expected. Honestly, I'm not fond of either option. If our charts are wrong, what else is wrong and our sun... No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm probably overlooking something. That's it. I just need to collect more data. What are you doing out here? Well, I was... That is, I originally came out here to update our star charts. Now, though, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the stars. There are so many, too many supernovae. 
Why are so many stars out dying out? I've never seen anything like this. Frankly, I'm worried. I'm a little scared. Oh, poor dude. Where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with a little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. I don't think you can reach uh, inside the planet with uh, with the little scout. Like you cannot go to the um, to the sunless city. Wait, no, that's. No, that hanging city is from Brittle Hollow. Sunless City is the the city in this planet, yes. You can go to the Sunless City, you cannot go to the high energy lab. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on the Ember Twin Southern Hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam of light in the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one is a Nomai ship. You will find Nomai ruins across the twins, but strangely not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I would have seen it with uh, my little scout. So where did we live? Say, where did they live? Not on the surf, not on the surface. Clearly, the Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. Yes, we found them. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? On a scale of one to that, I would give it a seven or eight. How awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin. But did you know the process eventually reverses? What? We are not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomena. I thought it was created by the Nomai. That is very interesting. So it was. It was. Uh, no, it was. It's natural, not created by Nomai. That's very interesting. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin. Once a little more of its sand drains off, I promise you won't. Sorry, you won't be disappointed. Just saying hi. Watch out for the stars. I mean, sand. Let's roast a marshmallow. Okay. The stars, they are all dying. There have been too many supernovae for it to be anything else. We are next, do you understand? Our son, by heart's name, we are next. Oh my god. He is... What do you mean by we are next? Is the stars, you see? All the other stars are dying out. Oh, why did we have to be born at the end of the universe? And our sun, it... The star charts, why? Why did I want to update them so badly? I didn't have to know, but... Oh no, oh no. I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have. And now our son is about to... About to... I don't feel well. I would like to be alone, please. I found something. Why? Isn't that great? Do you know what? I found a few things myself. Most of them have to do with the sun exploding. Oh, who cares? What does it matter? Nothing matters anymore. The sun is about to go supernova and me, all my research, my life's work, wasted. Wasted, do you understand? And, okay, let me just play the drums while, while panicking, okay. Uh, or should I explore here? Where should you go? Where can anyone go? Can't you see it's too late now? The sun will probably blow up before you can even get there. Oh wow, he's... Not as... <laughs> he's just... Oh wow, he's just having a meltdown. How dangerous is that column of sand? Not as dangerous as what's about to happen to our entire solar system. 
Wait, uh, what, what, what did you say? I can't believe this. I don't know why they start dying. They're old, far older than we realized, and now all of them are dying. Okay. Uh, I want to see if there is... If there is any other conversation options I missed. I can't believe this. I can't believe this is happening. I can't. I won't. I won't believe it. Oh my god. Uh, let me let me just change one thing. I just I just uh, text audio. There we go. Uh, text speed. Instant. Okay. Uh, bu 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 bu. Okay, I think we found all the conversation options. Is this our ship or is this his ship? No, this is his ship. Interesting. It, this one already looks very similar to to ours. Oh god. Ow. Well, that was not the best idea. You know what? I should stay with the travelers when the sun explodes. I don't know. I, I just I just feel like it's the right thing to do. I just want to stay with them when they die. When we all die. Why is the internet not working seriously? I just want my Wi-Fi to work. Um, one second, I just have to make sure... I just have to make sure one little thing. Uh, just one moment, please. One moment, one moment. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Everything is going fine. Everything is fine. One to moon locator. Six location, church camp. Okay, so anglerfish fossil. No, my children used to play a game here. One player was the anglerfish and wore wore a blindfold. The rest of the children, the little fish, lined up against the one wall. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across to the other side. The blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. The adult Nomai were delighted to see the children incorporate their research into the game's rules. I know my... No, wait, that's... I already read all of these. Chert has set up their astronomy gear on the North Pole of Ember Twin. Chert has spotted an unusually high number of supernovae recently. All of the stars in the universe are dying, including our sun. 
The stars are simply dying from old age. Apparently they are much older than we realized. Wow. No new stars are born? Seriously? A new my device created to track the quantum, moon lo quantum moon's location. The new my hypothesized that the quantum moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. The quantum moon travels to a lot of local of five locations. Well, six. Now, now we know that six, but okay. The quantum moon something sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. The Nomai on Ember Twin observed a moon that would disappear when no one was watching. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Stepping stones, no? Nothing here. Okay. Let me go visit Chert now that uh, now that the cycle is just starting. Uh, Chert scam. Oh uh, no, this one I want. Yes. Mark it on the map. Marking it on the map is easier than it's easier than uh, than having the signal scope on. So that's why I'm doing it. That was super smooth. That was so smooth that it... That it surprised even myself. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I, I thought I was... Okay. I have a question for you. Tell me, what can I do for you? How do I know if I've spotted a supernova? Supernovae look like, like extra bright stars to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespan, which is why it's not unusual. It's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realized. Oh, wow. What are you doing out here? Right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfell noticed that our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. Or maybe don't tell Hornfells either. I think they are pretty deep in denial. Nice. Where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. Uh... Okay, how dangerous is that, that column? Okay, I found something. Please do tell. I found your notes about the Atal Rock's main crater. Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned, I mentioned, the planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid or just partially made of ice, like a much, much colder giant's deep. It's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You will notice, of course, that there is no such planet now. In its place is Dark Bramble, which, how to put this, grew into the space of the fifth, the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely, and its shards were flung across space. Some of these, some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Atal Rock, which I believe is how its biggest crater was formed. What are you up to? Okay.
Watch out for falling sand, okay? I've had I've had to dig myself out once or twice, and that's not half as fun as it sounds. Uh, okay. I'm trying to find supernovae now. Can we find supernova? I don't know. Let me... What is that? Ow. What is this thing? Okay. Friends, if you find any sign of Colius, I implore you to tell me he vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing over ever since. Meloray, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Colius. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Colius and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Colius lost, Meloray? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Colius to examine a sample and when I turned back he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air, Anona. I'm afraid of, of him. Hypothesis, we will learn more by examining the northern legbed cave when Colius disappeared. Research, search quickly everyone, we have no time to squander. Uh, I'm sorry, what now? Okay, we found the cave shard. The cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. We are... okay, we are close... no, we're not, we are not so close to the North Pole either. Okay, this is where we came from. So let's go down, because there was another entrance there. Right here... right here. Oh, well, the, both entrances are the same, basically. Ow. Okay, and this just leads to the to this place. Okay. Did we read this? I think we did read this. Uh, yeah. See, if if we fall down of the from the skateboard and we turn around, then we are looking where we need to look. You're doing well. There's only a little farther left 
to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sun comes. Okay, let's explore... I don't know what we should explore, to be honest. Let's fill up our oxygen, first of all. We already read this, right? I think we did. Okay. These are the stepping stones. What about this? Well, I, th I think that we are. I have already been here as well. What is this? Yeah, we I have already been here. Okay. Hmm. This is Sangrafish. Okay, this is where we come from. Uh, okay. There is nothing here, or it doesn't look like there is at least. Ow. Oh, uh, wait, what? That looks like a scroll thing. Oh, come on. This dumb cacti. Okay, so we should go here. Basically, we need to we need to fall down there. Uh, see, there is even something there. Okay, anything here? No, nothing there. Uh, what is here? Ow. Oh, these cacti are, are getting on my nerves. 